Alright boys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about PJ Tucker. So a report came out from The Athletic. I'll read it to you guys really quickly. The Rockets have a veteran player who has the intrigue of many of the league contenders. Forward PJ Tucker, the Nets, Bucks, Heat, Nuggets, and Lakers are expressing interest in Tucker. Sources said multiple teams have sensed a deal could develop sooner rather than later for Tucker, but the timing is likely dependent on the Rockets' asking price. As of now, Houston has sought a young player back in return in a trade. Sources said Tucker, 35, is a versatile forward who is able to defend multiple positions. So far this season, he has averaged 4.4 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 30 minutes per game. Now, here's my honest opinion on PJ Tucker. If we aren't getting a player like Taylor Horton Tucker back, I'm not trading him. Like, I'm not trading P.J. Tucker for second round picks. Personally, we have a lot of money going into next season, into free agency. Assuming Eric Gordon is traded in Victor Aldipo, that clears up a ton of money. Trading Eric Gordon, first of all, by itself alone, clears up a max free agency slot. So we can go out and get John Collins. I know a lot of people would love to do that. A lot of people wouldn't. A lot of people think that we should save the money and just be smart about it. Because once we pay Collins, like, that contract's there. I mean, you get, give or take, he's 23 and... A 29 guy that is going to get better but let's say like john collins we don't sign him eric gordon is traded because he is drawing a ton of trade uh interest and the rockets let's be real here they're going to have a fire sell they're going to trade everyone of value especially going like on a bad contract like or is just going into free agency like david nawaba got injured but like sterling brown if he has any value guys like that all deep obviously so but me because we have all this money and i don't expect the rockets to spend much of it just be, like this free agency class isn't that great i mean Kawhi leonard will probably reject his offer from the Clippers. He might re-sign with them for, or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe he goes back to Toronto. That'd be amazing. I'd love for Kawhi to go back to Toronto. I don't know why he ever left, but let's say he Kawhi Leonard just he goes uh stays with the Clippers. Like other than that, there's not that many options. Like Jared Allen, obviously the Cavs are gonna match. Lonzo Ball, the Pelicans or Bulls, whoever he's on at the end of the year, they're gonna match. So John Collins is is and even the, the Hawks, the Hawks might match. So like there's just not a lot of options here. So and the reason why I'm bringing this up is keep P.J. Tucker. Like, I know he's 35 and he potentially can be taking away minutes, but from the younger players, I really, like, I think P.J. Tucker is just, I really like the way he plays. Like, I think defensively, he's a stud. I mean, you look at the beginning of those clips, you guys could see for yourself what he was doing against LeBron and AD. I mean, give or take, LeBron did get the, or it's not even LeBron, but AD got the best of him to end the series. But, I mean, what do you expect? Anthony Davis is a seven-footer, P.J. Tucker 6'5", but I, I think P.J. Tucker, I would personally trade him for a guy like Taylor Horton Tucker. Or I would extend him for another year. I know PJ does want an extension. Early on before the season started, we kept hearing PJ Tucker saying that he felt like he wasn't wanted by the Rockets because they weren't giving him an extension. One more year, though. I mean, again, extend him for one more year and then maybe a team at the, ne the next deadline or something will trade for him. I mean, you don't have to trade PJ. Like, second-round picks, doesn't this doesn't seem like much to me. I mean, like, the Rockets gave up a second-round pick for Kevin Porter Jr., which is basically, like, nothing. It's basically nothing. Not that like you can't find talent in the second round, but it's just not likely. Like when you're drafting in the second round, you're looking for back end of the rotation guys with upside potentially. But I mean, more often than not, you don't find those guys. So I'm probably one of the few people that would be okay with keeping PJ Tucker just because he's a good defender. I know he's 35, 36, but I'd rather do that than lose him. I guess for like nothing. I mean, you could lose him in free agency, but if you extend him now before it's too late, like you have him locked up for another year and um. I don't know what he would want. I don't know if I would even pay him $8 million. I mean, he's making $8 million right now. I don't know if I'd give him another $8 million, but, like, if he's willing to accept, like, 5 or $6 million per year, like, for the next year, I mean, hell, I'll do it. Why not? It's 5 $6 million. Like, the Rockets, it's not like it's killing their payroll. It's not like they're paying him $15 million. I mean, it's $5 million, which is fine. I mean, Kevin Moore Jr. is making, like, a little bit less than that. So, the only issue with PJ is he is 35, 36. Like, PJ Tucker can't get any better so if you do bring him back next season, then he is taking away minutes from other guys. Like if they do get Collins, then PJ would, I mean, PJ could play the three. I mean, like the Rockets don't have that many good young big men. Like they have Justin Patton and then they have Christian Wood, but you can play PJ at the three. So, I mean, you have to imagine like our starting lineup next season could be, it could be Kevin Porter Jr. at the one. That's why he's in the G League to be, develop uh, more of a point guard role. It could be at the two, maybe Mason Jones. Sterling Brown, maybe. And then at the three, it could be PJ. And then it could be Christian Wood and Patton or maybe Collins and Wood. Like, I think, yeah, I think they should keep PJ because next season, I don't think the Rockets will be this bad. Like, Silas, after having a full year under his belt, Kevin Porter Jr. on the rise, Mason Jones on the rise, Christian Wood on the rise, a full season of him. Whatever they get for all the depot, they'll have picks to work with. Like, I think the Rockets will be okay next season. 
they do have their first round pick but again they're not tanking like christian wood will not tank like you, there's no way christian wood's ever gonna agree to tanking and losing games and christian wood wants to go out there and win so pj tucker to me wouldn't be a bad option for the rockets next season i'm, I'm not saying a two-year deal but one year deal i mean i'm okay with because it's an expiring deal like whenever you have an expiring contract even if they gave pj tucker 10 million dollars next season that's not good, but it's still an expiring contract. So it's not the end of the world, man. It's not like it's a two, three year deal. So, I mean, it's kind of like if the Rockets were to trade for Michael Porter Jr., I'd imagine Gary Harris would be in that deal because Gary Harris is on a two year, $39 million contract. So if the Rockets do get Porter, they're basically going to have to give up less because they're taking on a bad contract. Two year deal is worse than a one year deal. So uh, again, guys, let me know your thoughts down below on PJ Tucker, man. I personally would like to trade him. Don't get me wrong. My, my number one option is to trade PJ Tucker, but I need a first or I need a young player back. I mean, maybe not a young player like Taylor Horton Tucker, but a young player that can play in the rotation. I'm not taking a young player that wouldn't see any minutes or I'm not taking a few second round picks. I need a young rotation player. It doesn't need to start, but I'm not saying Kyle Kuzma or anything crazy, but I need a young rotation piece that can come off the bench for the Rockets that has upside potentially to be a starter. I mean, PJ Tucker's still good. I mean, he goes to the Nuggets. He goes to the Lakers. He goes to the Nets. I mean, they become a better team, especially in the playoffs, because he can defend multiple positions and he's very versatile. So 